One of the things with this team that we talked to Lindy about yesterday is that they really use their physical edge. They've got some bigger guys. What do you guys have to do to replicate that in your own way? Because maybe you don't have the same type of personnel. So how do you, you know, replicate what they do? Well, I think uh, everybody can be physical in their own way, um, whether that's a guy like Brad who can cut off hands and man, kind of bump people and uh, uh, kind of slow people down like that. And um, a lot of times... Uh, you got to find your own way to be uh, show your physicality, and obviously they're they're bigger, but you use different ways to do it. And uh, I've seen this club do that a lot this year. And what do you want to replicate from what you guys did in the last game? Obviously, you know it's not necessarily realistic to think seven goals every game, but in terms of you know replicating success. Yeah, I think um, a lot of that starts in our own in our own end, where we make good plays um, and we we battle it out of our own end, and then. I find with with our club, it's uh, managing the puck a lot. Um, obviously, blue lines are crucial, and uh, getting it out and getting it in, it uh, it wears on other team, and you can half ice them. So uh, that's obviously a, a big area that helped us be successful last game. And um, I think when you manage the game that way, uh, you're kind of um, on the better side of the puck most of the night, and, and that puts you in good position offensively and defensively. So that's kind of the area that we're, we're focused on and, and try to replicate like we did last game. What's the balance between having that business-like attitude, enjoying what you guys are doing, and then you know bringing that to the finish line? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, we know what our job is, and that's the business part. Uh, but if you're not having fun and you're just showing up to do a job that you're not enjoying, then you're not going to succeed, really. You're not going to do great. And um, the best teams uh, that uh, you always hear the guys that uh, have fun winning. And winning is fun. And, and yeah. everybody talks about how they love the group that they're with. It's because they're winning and they're doing the right things. And then at the end of the day, we're in the business of winning. So uh, it's all about those two points. But getting there, having fun, enjoying um, the work that you put into it in practice, like tonight, this morning, uh, yesterday, to try to get yourself prepared and um, I mean, that's our homework, right? So we do that right, and when we follow in uh, the system, which the system will take care of us, I think that puts us in the best position, and that's our business there. So, One of the things, you know, with, with a victory in the last game, likely, you know, in this group, you're thinking, that means nothing if we don't do it again. That's 100% sure. Uh, you got to tag on points and wins, and um, every night's obviously different, uh, and um, I think... There's so much parity in the league that anybody can win on a, on a nightly basis, but you got to find a way to get points. Um, and for us, if we manage to take care of our own and, and take care of the puck, I think it gives us the most opportunity to win. And then when we do things like that, then we can show our skill like we did last game. So um, I think sometimes we're our greatest enemy. Um, and if we take care of manage uh, the game in those aspects that we've talked about, I think... Uh, it sets up our club like so great because our skill will come out and, 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 the, and we've proven that before. Without the, you know, knowing that the pressure is still the same, right, like in terms of that race to, to collect those points, did it feel like the win in San Jose maybe took the temperature down? Because those are two different things, right? Do, do you see that? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, Kind of, I think. <laughs> I, I, I think right now with... Uh, everybody's scoreboard watching and they know the standings. I think for us, um, we're just trying to take one game at a time. Uh, obviously, uh, last game was good, but we got to keep tagging on points or it doesn't mean anything. And I know it's kind of what you're portraying to, I think, but uh, for, for us, is uh, the long run is just trying to get our game to where we want it because... Um, this last little push, is, it's very difficult. It's always been like that. And then going to the playoffs, you have to be playing the right way if you want to be the last team standing. So um, we're just trying to get that game exactly where we want it. And I think we're close, but we're not there yet. Does it feel at all daunting that this year you guys haven't been able to string like like many wins? Yeah. Like I said, the, there's a lot of parity in the league. Um, I haven't seen a ton of teams string on a ton of wins in a row. Obviously... Uh, we've had a couple spurts with, like, uh, I think it was Edmonton. Uh, obviously, the Rangers just did it. But um, there hasn't been a ton of that. And for us, it's the reason that most teams haven't been doing that. We're still in the run. We're still in the race. So um, I don't know if the word daunting is the word I would use, but um, 
it's been frustrating because we haven't been able to, but um, we're still in the run, and it doesn't matter. You just need a ticket to the dance, and that's all we're focusing on is making sure we get points so that we can uh, we can slide into a position. Uh, Brent, I'm just wondering, too, you kind of touched on, like, the fun you guys are having right now, but for that game in San Jose to see, I mean, the blue liners, like, so many getting on the action, and just to see guys that really needed to get on the board, what does that do for the confidence for you guys? I think for everybody. I mean, like I said, winning's fun, and when the guys are playing the right way and, and we get some secondary scoring, uh, that's exciting for everybody because uh, so to win games, you need secondary scoring, and, and ev not every night, but... Uh, you need your best players to be your best players, but then you, you need guys to chip in. And so to see you know, we have three D-man score, that's big for us, right? So um, if we can kind of continue to do that, uh, I'm not going to score very much, so I understand that. <laughs> but uh, when I can help out, that's great. And um, um, it really sets our team up if we can, can kind of chip in. That really benefit from you know their physical play. How do you guys counter that, knowing that maybe you don't have the same types of bigger bodies that they do? Yeah, um, well, obviously we want to play to our strengths: speed, uh, making sure that we're back checking hard, forechecking, and keeping the puck. Um, and obviously, when we do have those times, we got to find a way to win those battles. Maybe necessarily you're not stronger, but you can get on their sticks, mm -hmm. uh, get inside position. So just using all those little details will uh, help us out in the end of the day. What type of thing do you need to replicate from your last game to this game to sort of start getting on that roll? One win is one thing, but <laughs> keeping it going. Yeah, uh, you know, you want to look at the positives on that. We got the first win of the road trip, and uh, we want to keep that continuing. Um, like you said, we I think we had a lot of fun last game. Uh, you know, scored some goals, uh, made plays, and... Uh, but also, you know, like I said, I think just playing with our speed is a big thing. And uh, if we do that, we, we should turn out pretty good. Thanks, Austin. Thank you. Perfect. Team tonight that really, you know, has some big bodies, use their physicality. Perhaps you guys don't have the same type of bodies, but how does physicality manifest itself in your group to counter that? Well, just being strong in the puck, uh, being quick. Uh, you know, I thought last game we did a good job of that, just keeping real good movement. Um, you know, if you let the puck do the work, then... Uh, you don't get trapped very often. When you have Lazar on Jack's wing there, what are you looking for and what have you liked maybe in the last, you know, game that, that worked well? Well, you know, I look at offensive opportunities. Um, you know, I think when you have uh, Blatt and Lazar, you've got two heavier bodies. You've got two guys who can get to the net. You know, with Jack's ability to hang on and, and you know, roll in the offensive zone when you, you put uh, more physical guys there, there's a better opportunity. So, you know, I like the opportunities they created inside the game. Uh, you know, Jack obviously uh, had two breakaways. Mm -hmm. I thought his offensive numbers started to go up. So, uh, you know, a one, a one game look, I thought it, uh, it looked good. Um, Brendan Smith obviously able to get out there today. Is it sort of a wait and see thing for how he's feeling? Or uh, you know, it looks like uh, he'll be good to go. Uh, you know, we, uh, you know, may dress an extra guy for warm up just in case, but uh, I think he's going to be good. You're obviously not going to get three goals from defensemen every night, but have you seen a more concerted effort to either get pucks on net from the blue line or get guys in front to create more screens, or is it just a product of how that game ended? I, I think part of it is a product of that game. Um, you know, I think you see some teams in the league incredible at being in shot lanes and not, you know, we've had a lot of games where a lot of shots have been blocked. Uh, I thought we did a better job of getting them through, but at the same time, uh, we know we're not going to get three every night, but I think if you can get your defense involved, uh, whether it's on the rush or whether it's in the ozone play, uh, the numbers always go up. To me, it seemed like the guys looked like they were having fun out there. I mean, to see them kind of taking advantage of this trip so far, obviously team bonding. I mean, how do you feel that sets you up for this push you guys are in right now? Well, you know, I think when you get in a game where you win, you know, 7-2 and you got a lot of guys in on the offense and you got defensemen that are scoring and... Uh, you start a trip and, you know, the next couple of days uh, you're going to have a day off and then, a, you know, a practice day. So uh, it's easy to have fun when you start any uh, trip with a win and you win in that fashion. And, and now we have to build off it. Being in this unfamiliar situation, is that something that you're trying to have the team maybe relish in a way right now, of being in this battle, this fight together, as opposed to that ease and comfort at this point last year? Well, I think it's a challenge for the, the group. Uh, you know, to prove that you can, you can be down, uh, you can be, you know, out of it by three or four points and still climb your way back. Uh, that's the challenge for our for our team the rest of the year.
Wendy, on that second power play unit today at practice and in the last game, sometimes you had um, Miller coming in for Nemo and then the same with Holtz and Mercer. Is that really depending on what type of kill you're up against? How, like, what are you sort of looking for from those rotations? Well, we're looking for you know a bigger shooter, obviously, when we put him back there um, in what the other team, what they're giving up. So, you know, we want to have options and that's one of the options we can go to. What's the biggest difference then in like a Holtz versus a Mercer on that unit for you guys? Uh, shooters, um, you know, versus Mercer sometimes is the whole guy, which he's better at. Uh, when you go to a Miller uh, up top, we know we got a shooter there, and uh, the one-time opportunities with both Miller and Holtz, if they're on the ice at the same time, is just the ability. But sometimes that's not available if a team is ki killing a certain way. Since the All-Star break, since the return, Shimon's time has gone from it's dropped to like mid teens, upper teens, some of that circumstance so you can call those out, et cetera. But what's the benefit? Have you seen that lesser ice time benefit his game? You're talking about Nemec? Nemec, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I think there's been some games that there's definitely been fatigue in his game, and I think uh, you've seen the ice time go down inside of a game. Um, you know, looked uh, in certain situations that the schedule had caught up to him. I mean, he's playing a lot of games. Uh, you know, so. When he's going really well, you'll notice that ice time has been up there higher. When uh, it hasn't been as good, the ice time has got down, and we've been a little bit more selective on, you know, getting him in, whether it's the power play or you know trying to utilize him in a little lesser uh, situation.